Hello, my name is Rylan Gleave. I am a composer based in Glasgow, Scotland, and I use he, him pronouns. I'm a vocalist in my spare time, um, often incorporating my own voice and others' voices into my projects. I'm studying with Linda Buckley at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, about to start the second year of my master's degree. In Waves, my piece is a response to uh, three artworks by Scottish artist Kirsty Cohen and poem by Scottish poet B. Corn about St Kilda, uh, an archipelago off the coast of the Hebrides. The piece was commissioned by the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland for the Edinburgh Quartet, written in 2020, early 2020, um, and meant to be performed in June, but as of yet is still awaiting premiere. The score itself moves from fairly open to more standard notation, exploring the shapes and lines of the text and artwork. By contrasting soft, faint, seagull-like cries with dark material reminiscent of stormy waters. As an autistic composer, the most uh, challenging aspects of being a musician are probably the social and interpersonal relationships that a composer relies on. It feels sometimes as though there's this secret, coveted social skills handbook that I simply wasn't ever given. Um, on the plus side, this does mean that I can sit and write for 14 hours or so without needing a break, which I'm very grateful for. Um, just want to thank Crossing Borders Music for their support and for Tom and the team for this opportunity. My name is Big Horn, and in lockdown 2020, I completed my MLit in creative writing at the University of Stirling. During the course, we had the opportunity to write in response to the current Pathfoot art exhibition, the theme of which is environment. And also on offer was an option to collaborate on this with a composition student from the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and I was keen to make the most of this unique opportunity. Once I'd contacted Ryland Gleave, we met at Stirling University and wandered around the exhibition together. We both found ourselves quite stirred by the story of St Kilda and the dramatic paintings by Kirsty Cohen, which depicted the wildness and remoteness of these North Atlantic islands. I left it up to Rylan um, as to how we would proceed and he suggested that I create a piece of writing, in my case a poem, in response to the St Kilda paintings and he would then use this to inform and possibly weave into his composition. The poem I wrote was ekphrastic, that is to say it verbally describes a visual work of art. And here it is. St Kilda, An Atlantic Journey, from a series of paintings by Kirsty Cohen. A cleft sea stack stands bold in the simmering steel grey sea. Lines of white foam lash themselves to its base in waves reaching to scale the rock. From its shaft below plumes of salt spray like the spewing of ash from Catla. The sky hangs thick with a palette of grey mists and white Flex whip as if confetti in a storm. Birds, sea foam, feathers, or just gashes rent in a seething canvas board. 